Hello, everyone, and welcome to Lead CE Academy's Lead V4 series through the eyes of Lead V4. My name is Amanda Morris, and I have the pleasure of introducing today's speaker and giving you a little idea of what you'll hear today in our course, Sites Done Right Through the Eyes of Lead V4. First, I'd like to introduce today's speaker. Jason Lee is a lead AP with a specialty in operations and maintenance. Currently, Jason is serving a position with Harvard Maintenance Incorporated. Today, he'll be enlightening us all on his experience and expertise related to sustainable sites. Throughout this course, Jason will help us identify sustainable site initiatives that projects may utilize. We'll also define the heat island effect and explore strategies to reduce that effect. Jason will guide us through the exploration of various strategies for stormwater management. We'll also identify requirements for implementing a construction pollution prevention plan. We'll perform runoff calculations for lead credit compliance and analyze a case study to identify sustainability driven site factors and strategies that are implemented. The evolution of sustainable sites has evolved greatly over the past several decades. Hey, as an example, 20 years ago, buildings were constructed as a series of independent systems, each working separately to attempt to keep the outdoors well out. Whereas today, the emphasis of the built environment plays a major role in the multiple environmental aspects and ecosystem focused facility initiatives. These benchmarks that will be discussed will be inclusive of any new construction as well as for projects that include major renovations or existing operations and maintenance. These strategies and guidelines may apply to all sites, both with and without buildings that include but are not limited to, as an example, open spaces, local, state, and national parks, conservation easements, buffer zones, utility corridors, and even transportation rights of way. Other examples are sites with buildings that include industrial, retail and office parks, military complexes, airports, botanical gardens, streetscapes, plazas, or even residential and commercial developments and public and private campuses. The philosophies of a sustainable site are conceptual ideas for a holistic approach toward ecosystem environmental leadership. We will spend some time reviewing the following principles, beginning with do no harm. This is defined as not to degrade the surrounding environment. Projects to promote do not harm are sites where previous disturbance or development presents an opportunity to regenerate ecosystem services through sustainable design. The next is precautionary principle. Be cautious in making decisions that could create risk to human and environmental health whereas some actions can cause irreversible damage, we want to make sure we examine a full range of alternatives, including no action, and be open to contributions from all affected parties. Design with nature and culture. Create and implement designs that are responsive to economic, environmental, and cultural conditions with respect to the local, regional, and global context. We always want to use a decision-making hierarchy of preservation, conservation, and regeneration. This way we maximize and mim mimic the benefits of ecosystem services by preserving existing environmental features such as conserving resources in a sustainable manner and regenerating lost or damaged ecosystem services. We always look to provide a regenerative systems as intergenerational equity. Here we want to provide future generations with a sustainable environment that's supported by regenerative systems and endowed also with regenerative resources. We're looking to support a living process. Here we're continuously reevaluating assumptions and values and adapt to demographic and environmental change. It's always important to use a systems thinking approach. This way we understand and value the relationships in an ecosystem and use an approach that reflects and sustains ecosystem services. This way we're able to reestablish the integral and essential relationship between natural processes and the human activity. 
Using a collaborative and ethical approach, you encourage direct and open communication amongst colleagues, clients, manufacturers, and users to link long-term sustainability with ethical responsibility. Maintain integrity in leadership and research. Here we implement transparency and participatory uh, leadership that develops research with technical rigor, along with communication of new findings in a clear, consistent, and timely manner. Lastly, we foster environmental stewardship. In all aspects of land development and management, we want to foster an ethic of environmental stewardship. This is an understanding of responsibility that identifies healthy ecosystems to improve the quality of life for both the present and future generations. The next case study that we will review is the National Geographic Society headquarters. This project is located in Washington, D.C. and it is office and exhibit space of over 746,000 square feet. The implementation cost is just a little over $6,500 with an annual net savings of $1,500. Simple payback was a little over four years. And the lead status, as you can see, is lead for existing buildings. The pilot was silver back in 2003. Later became version 2.0 for existing buildings, gold in 2009, and then gold for 2010. The results? The National Geographic Society implemented many green actions to achieve gold certification. It recycles over 57% of all waste through a comprehensive diversion program focused on cafeteria recycling and composting. A comprehensive alternative transportation and commuting program that includes flexible schedules, telecommuting, bicycle racks, and preferred parking for carpools and hybrid vehicles. A fixture water use reduction of 36% greater than lead requirements calculated savings of over 1 million, 1.2 million per year. An overhaul over the major mechanical systems led to a 20% decrease in overall energy use at the facility.